There's a brand new way to tune your vocals in any DAW, so I'm gonna walk you through how to do it, and it's completely free. Nowadays, tuning your vocals is almost a necessity for what you're doing, and if you don't pay for auto-tune access, you're gonna be stuck using Pitcher, which is built into FL Studio. Now, this is nice and all, but if you don't buy the full version, you're stuck with the trial version and it locks some things. So I'm gonna walk you through how to tune them for free. Now, if you wanna learn how to use Pitcher and you don't wanna install anything, you can click this video right up here, and I'll walk you through how to use Pitcher. Now, maybe you wanna do this because it's built in, you don't wanna download anything else. But if you do want to download the new one, all you have to do is click the link in the description. It'll take you to here. This is Graylin by Auburn Sounds. Right now they're on version 2.8, but it's a live voice changer. You can scroll down, you can read about it. Now there is a full version you can buy, but you don't need to buy that to tune your vocals. So you're going to be shocked with what you can do with the free version. Now I don't want to show you every example that they have because you can just click the link and look at them for yourself. But here they have it turned up pretty high, so it's robotic sounding. That's a little too high for me, but it just shows what it can do. So you're going to scroll up and you're going to click free edition. Then you can save it to whatever folder you want. It's going to be a zip file. So you need WinRAR or anything else you use to extract a zip file. You're going to save it. We can go up to our downloads, open the zip file. I'm using WinRAR, but whatever you use, click here. Now, whatever operating system you're using, you're going to go to that folder. So I'm on Windows, I'm going over to Windows. You go to Mac if you have Mac and you see it's just the application file. I'm gonna click extract to, and I'm gonna save it to my plugin folder. Now that it's saved, I'm in my plugin folder right now. It's on the D drive in my plugins, and it's the EXE. So I can open this EXE, click yes, run, agree to what they have, check whatever you want. I'm gonna check FL Studio, next. Pick the folder you want it to save to. I don't want it in my C drive, so I'm gonna change that. And I just clicked install, it just finished, and now I click close. Now you can see in here, it gave me a new folder, Graylin 2 with the DLL in it. So if I go back to FL Studio, first off, I'm gonna save this path. Then I can go back to FL Studio. You're gonna to wanna to go up to Options, File Settings, and then you can just make a new path right here. Make sure it's saved. You can click Manage Plugins right here and look for it. You can click Find Installed Plugins. It'll start searching your computer for any new plugins. And you can see right here in the gold, it found Grail in too. I'm gonna to star it just for this video, but you don't have to. It's 32 and 64 bit, so it should work on a lot of machines. I'm gonna close this, close all this, and I'm gonna go to my mixer track. I'm gonna rename the first one Vocals. You don't have to do this, I'm just showing you guys. I'm gonna add a new plugin, and I'm gonna search for Graylin, it's right here. And so here's the plugin itself. First off in the bottom left, you see pitch shift, which makes your voice either higher or lower. Besides the pitch shifting, you're going to see a couple other options. If you click right here where it says correct G major, you're going to have everything you can correct your voice into. So let's say I want C major and click that and then enable this knob. You're going to want all the way up and then smooth. You're going to want down to fast. So I took a Kanye acapella and I messed with these settings a little bit. And here's what he sounds like in C major. I miss the old Kanye, straight from the go Kanye. Here's what it sounded like before. I miss the old Kanye, straight from the go Kanye. So you can definitely hear that robotic sound. So yeah, you're gonna need to know what key your beat is in so that you can stay, you know, in the same key as it. But once you know that, click the presets, click your key, make sure that you have it enabled all the way and smooth down. You can mess with the reference and the inertia. But yeah, you can see what key you're hitting right here. And yeah, you can use this to have auto-tune. I wanna compare what the auto-tune sounds like using Pitcher, Graylin and Autotune and show you the differences between what they sound like. Firstly, with Graylin, we just heard this one. I miss the old Kanye, straight from the go Kanye. Autotune access right here. I miss the old Kanye, straight from the go Kanye. And then lastly, Pitcher, this is the other free one. I miss the old Kanye, straight from the go Kanye. Whichever one you decide to use, you should be able to get the sound that you're looking for. The only annoying thing is vocal presets. A lot of times they only work with Autotune access or waves. You can work around that just correcting the key inside of Pitcher or Graylin, whichever you use. And yeah, thank you for watching. I hope this helps you tune your vocals and you can get your song sounding good. If you enjoyed, drop a like and subscribe. Comment down below what you want next. Thank you.